he there is an accuser and he wants nothing more than to keep you from the truth and to keep you out of God's glory and to keep you from entering that door on the cross and hi brothers and sisters how are you guys doing um, I just want to come on here and share some things that I feel the Lord is leading me to share um, and it kind of boils down to uh, unbelief and belief and the way I see it and the way that the Lord has revealed it to me is um, religion actually makes us believe that we have to continually ask for forgiveness and um, continually uh, keep professing that we believe and so it turns into a work that we continually have to keep doing in order to feel like we are saved but a person that continually feels like they must ask forgiveness and profess that they are a believer uh, probably in their heart doesn't really a hundred percent believe that they are saved because they always think that there's a chance that they're not and that God is going to throw them away. So what the Lord has revealed to me um, is in the scriptures and um, I'm just going to go over a few things. Uh, for instance, Philippians 1 6 says, For I am confident of this very thing that he who began a good work in you will perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. So it always points, everything in the scriptures are always pointing us to Jesus Christ and, you know, why he came and. Uh, the things that he did while he was on earth and if you're um, if you're looking and feeling like there's still something missing um, in your walk it could be the fact that you're still in unbelief and I know that sounds kind of crazy to uh, profess believers that believe um, in Jesus Christ but have you really fully um, believed in his finished work on the cross which I, I mean um, how many times do you have to ask for forgiveness before you're forgiven I I just feel like there are a lot of people that um, are bordering, they're, they're walking a tightrope, and on one side is, I have to, I have to, I have to, and on the other side is, I believe. Um, and I think that that might be what is considered lukewarm, because you don't really fully believe, but you say that you believe so what I do I picture myself at the foot of the cross well this is what I did and I pictured myself at the foot of the cross and then I um, pictured myself entering in a door on the cross and so we know that Jesus Christ finished all the work that was given to him when he completed the work of the cross when he uh, gave himself as a sacrifice for all sin and rose from the dead and had a new body and was made new and so we are made new in him new creations in him so when we enter the cross we are letting the blood that he shed wash over us and therefore 
washing away the sin of unbelief where we thought we had to do, do, do and carry all the heavy burden of all of the things that are separating us from Christ and from his presence uh, because if if we think we have to do something then the work of the cross wasn't enough so by entering in that door on the cross you walk in you get washed clean by his blood therefore it's no more about you or your works it's about him and accepting really accepting in your heart what he did what he did nothing that we can do but just accept what he did and that is the free gift of grace and once we accept the free gift of grace and what he did he will start to work in us and and it's not that um you know he's going to come in say oh everything you're doing is wrong and you can't do this and you can't do that and he's going to He's going to show us righteousness, and by showing us righteousness, it's going to lead us away from those things that our flesh desired, and it's going to lead us to a different way of thinking. It's going to, it's going to produce in us fruits and help us to see things through his eyes and his heart and have love uh, for other people the way he loves them. Um, so I just hope and pray that this message will help somebody, that it's not about uh, how many good things you do or how many times you ask for forgiveness or um, anything like that. It's, it's really about fully accepting the fact that you can't do enough, that there is no amount of good works that will ever cover every sin you've done, and that it is finished. He said it on the cross, that it is finished. And then just believing in those words, believing in what he did, will set you free from your unbelief. It will give you a new life. You'll have um, a new direction to go. You won't be looking at uh, earthly things. You won't be looking at your, your physical body needs. You'll be uh, transformed. And, um, and you know, I also uh, think about... Um, how we are uh, we're all part of the body of Christ and uh, Colossians 2 10 says and in him and in him so we have entered the door we have entered into Jesus Christ by our believing in him and in him you have made been sorry and in him you have been made complete. This is Colossians 2.10. And he is the head over all rule and authority. So he is the head. And in him we are made complete. So I just want to give you guys these things to think on and pray about. And just... Give it all, give it all to the Lord. Stop trying to work your way. Stop trying to think that, or stop allowing the accuser of your soul. He, there is an accuser and he wants nothing more than to keep you from the truth and to keep you out of God's glory and to keep you from entering that door on the cross and he's going to keep lying to you and uh, 
making it about you and what you can do until the day you die and then find out that you really didn't believe that you never fully accepted the truth that what Jesus Christ did is enough and you have faith in what he did you can't add to it you can't add a but at the end of it it is finished he completed the work and you rest in his finished work and when you're in him he'll be more than happy to produce fruits from you and your faith and your belief and and you'll see opportunities that he will show you to produce these fruits and it will be him working in you not you choosing what you think is right it will be him showing you in your heart guiding you showing you righteousness so that you can do his will for his glory and for his kingdom thank you so much everyone for listening if you've listened this far i truly appreciate each and every one of you i pray that um, everyone that has just a little bit of unbelief would receive this message and that they would fully and truly 100 percent accept jesus christ in his finished work of the cross and put their faith 100 percent in him and him alone god bless you all